Hi everyone, if you want to bleed your brakes on your own, you're going to need a bleeding tool to help you. First option is little more than a pipe with a one-way valve in it. With it connected to an open bleed nipple, you push the pedal like you would normally when bleeding with a second person to assist, and the valve stops air getting back into the system when the pedal comes back up. These are very cheap, under £10, and include a bottle to receive the old fluid. Next up, these easy bleeds use a connection to the valve on one of your wheels to pressurise a bottle of brake fluid, and then with an adapter sealed onto the master cylinder, you just open the bleed nipple and it supplies a flow of fluid through the system. These are a bit more expensive at about £20, but you will also need a bottle to drain the fluid into, and some cars might need a different adapter to the ones included in the kit. Lastly, if you've got a compressor, these vacuum bleeders suck the fluid through from the nipple into the attached bottle. They are the most expensive of the three designs, but prices still start at about £25, so it's not ridiculous. I do have a compressor in my garage, so I'm going to be using this one. Here it is, you've got the hose that runs from the bleed nipple to the bottle, air supply attaches to the handle, and then as you squeeze the trigger, the airflow gives you low pressure in the bottle, which draws the fluid into it. Now, if you saw my videos on working on the car's brakes, you'll have seen me use penetrating oil on the bleed nipples to make sure they're free to turn. So if you haven't done that, do so before you start, because they do like to seize up. You'll need the cap off the master cylinder in order to top it up while bleeding, and you'll obviously need some brake fluid to do that. I found that a litre was enough for a full flush of the system, but it's always worth having some extra to hand. Make sure you're using fresh fluid from a sealed container, and I find it easier to decant it into a jug for refilling the master cylinder. As standard, you start bleeding from the brake furthest from the master cylinder, which would normally be the passenger side rear but the routing of the brake pipes on the Evansato mean it's actually on the driver's side rear. Put the 8mm spanner on the bleed nipple first, then connect the end of the suction hose to the nipple. Connect the airline up, and you're ready to go. As you open the bleed nipple, squeeze the trigger on the bleeder, and you'll see the old fluid start coming up the hose. Now, you don't actually have to sit here holding the trigger, there's a clip to enable you to lock it on, and you can just leave the bleeder in place to constantly pull fluid through. This allows you to be around the front of the car, topping up the master cylinder reservoir as the fluid is drawn through the system. What I'm showing you here is the sped up view of the fluid usage. It takes about a minute to reach the minimum mark, at which point you should top it up and repeat. You really don't want to let it run dry, as at that point you'll need to fully re-bleed the system, regardless of how far you got through the job already. When you're done with any given corner, I'd prefer to close the bleed nipple first, then disengage the suction, as it minimises any chance of air getting in. I did the other rear brake next. As you can see, I've got the hose hooked up above the bleed nipple to better see the fluid flow, and then I moved around to the front passenger and then the front driver side brakes, topping up the master cylinder as required. One thing I'll note while doing this, you can watch for bubbles if your objective is to bleed air out the system rather than just a fluid change, but a disadvantage of this vacuum system is there can be a fractional amount of airflow past the seal with the nipple, so you can see bubbles in the flow even if your brake system is air free. It's not a big problem, it's not letting air into your brake system itself, just don't be surprised if you never stop seeing bubbles in the bleed airflow, even when your system is fully bled. All that's left to do, once your bleeding is complete, is put the cap back on the master cylinder reservoir, and as usual, store the old fluid in a suitable container to be taken for recycling. So, I hope that's been useful to you, and shown how easy it can be to bleed your brakes on your own. Check in with me again next time, and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below.